Hi, I'm Nina McVeigh. And I'm Connie Fanders. And we're going to talk about double needle stitching today, Connie. Oh, how interesting. There are so many quilters who um, understand double needles and, and that we can use them on a quilt like this, which is very much like stained glass quilting, um, so that you are using bias tape to uh, go around an object, and we are going to stitch that down with a double needle. Um, and this is the way they think about using a double needle. Mm -hmm. uh, it's probably the most common thing. I'm going to show some free motion stitching with a double needle. But let's take a look at this quilt first. Okay. These circles are fused down, and then they're appliqued by fusing this bias tape around them, and then with the double needle and the number 20 foot, because that bias just fits between the toes of the number 20 foot, I'm just going to do a straight stitch with that double needle, and I get the two lines of stitching. When you're applicating circles, it makes it so easy, and it's so perfect. It is, Connie. This was done with the 3.0 double needle, the three millimeters apart, and these bars were done with an 8.0 double needle, so eight yeah. millimeters apart. That's wide. It, it is wide. <laughs> it looks like I might have done two rows of stitching. It does. But I did it with that wide needle and the number 34 clear foot so, you so that see. I can see. But these were all done using the feed ducts, and that's a more common use of the double needle. But I want to show you just playing with the double needle with free motion quilting. I've attached the Bernina stitch regulator to the machine and I've put in a 3.0 double needle and I am just playing and doodling. And you may not be able to see it now, but um, I'll show you in a minute here the effect that you get by using the double needle. Well, it gives you a ribbon type effect. It does, a ribbon or a shadowing, uh, very unique. What a fun way to quilt quilts. And it may not be for every quilt, but I think it's a wonderful option. All right, so let's take a look at this. Yes. So as we look at it, like you said, it's ribbon work um, or, or a shadowing effect. I've used two different colors of thread, but you could choose to use the same color or two very um, different colors of thread. A lot of um, different ideas mm -hmm. to play with. I've used two different shades of thread for this playing today, but you could use two of the same color. You could use two very different colors of thread. There are a lot of options when you start playing with double needles. And we love choices. And we do. <laughs> so I've had a lot of fun playing with this. I think you need to explore the world of double needles. To learn more about double needle stitching, visit your local Bernina dealer today.